Soris Ronan, known for her striking performances and captivating screen presence, recently opened up in a rare and candid conversation about working alongside her husband Jack Loden. The beloved Irish actress, fresh from the premiere of her latest film The Outrun, made a memorable appearance on The Late Late Show, where she sat down with host Patrick Kilty. This marked one of the few occasions where Soros offered a glimpse into her otherwise private life, shedding light on her personal and professional relationship with Jack. Soros arrived at RTE's Donnybrook studio after what had been a whirlwind few weeks promoting The Outrun, a film that holds a special place in her heart, not only because of its powerful story but also because she and Jack were both deeply involved in its creation. Both Soros and Jack took on dual roles as producers for the film, which is based on Amy Liptrot's acclaimed memoir. The story follows a woman's journey of self-discovery as she returns to the remote Orkney Islands to confront her past and recover from alcoholism. It is a tale rich with emotion, personal transformation, and the beauty of isolation, all of which Sawurst brings to life in her lead role. What makes the film even more special for Sawurst is the fact that the idea to adapt the book into a film came from none other than Jack Loden himself. According to Sawurst, Jack was deeply moved by the book and saw its potential as a powerful narrative for the big screen. His belief in the project not only sparked the film's creation but also solidified their collaboration in a unique way. When Kilty, always eager to get the inside scoop, asked Sawurst what it was like working so closely with her husband, the actress didn't hesitate to share her thoughts. With her signature warmth and humor, she revealed that the experience was nothing short of great Sawurst explained that the trust and respect they have for each other in their personal lives naturally extended into their professional collaboration. Their shared passion for their craft, coupled with their mutual drive to deliver the best performances possible, made the experience both rewarding and enjoyable. Reflecting on the dynamics of their relationship, Sutworth elaborated on how their connection goes beyond the usual husband and wife bond, particularly when it comes to their shared creative vision. When you have a personal relationship with someone, and you're also in the same field, it's like this unspoken understanding she told Kilty. You respect one another's work, you have similar tastes, and you both expect the best from yourselves. To have that other person there believing in you but also pushing you to be better is really something special. This level of trust allowed Sawurst to take Jack's advice and constructive criticism to heart without feeling defensive, something that can be difficult in a high-pressure creative environment. Sawurst went on to praise Jack's role on set, describing him as her eyes and ears throughout the filming process. Since much of her role in the outrun involved improvisation, she relied heavily on Jack to guide her when needed. There were so many moments where it was just me figuring it out on the spot. And to have Jack there to say you're on the right path or maybe don't do that it was so reassuring. I just completely trust him, she shared with a smile. One of the more amusing anecdotes from the interview came when Sawurst recounted her first attempt at mastering the Orkney accent for the role. According to her, it didn't go quite as smoothly as she had hoped. In fact, it was Jack who gently pointed out that her initial effort was more of a Geordie Nordy hybrid than an authentic Orcadian accent. I remember working with the dialect coach, and I was thinking I had it down so worse laughed. But then Jack came in and was like, you're not doing that, are you? That's not what you're going with, is it? The challenge, she explained, was that Amy Liptrot, whose life the film is based on, has a very unique accent, a blend of English, Scottish, and Orcadian influences. In the end, Sawurst managed to craft her own version of the accent, one that felt true to the character and the spirit of the story. But the surprises didn't stop there. In a jaw-dropping revelation, Sars casually mentioned to Kilty that part of her preparation for the role involved lambing yes, delivering lambs. In an unexpected twist to her method acting, the actress found herself on a farm, assisting with the birth of seven lambs. She admitted that the experience gave her a newfound respect for farmers, noting that it was far more intense than anything she had ever done before. Honestly, I don't know how they do it. It was incredible, she said, still marveling at the experience. The interview, as expected, was met with an outpouring of love and admiration from viewers. Many were delighted by Sawurst's candidness and her down-to-earth personality. I love this interview. Sawurst is one of the most authentic and heartfelt actors of this generation. One viewer commented online. Another fan took to social media to express their admiration, writing Sawurst Ronan is so down-to-earth and she's such a fabulous actor. More of her on our screens, please. So Ursa's natural charm and genuine passion for her craft continue to win over audiences both on and off the screen. Whether she's taking on challenging roles, working behind the scenes as a producer, or delivering lambs on a farm in preparation for a film, So Ursa Ronan proves time and again that there is little she cannot do. Her collaboration with Jack Loden on the outrun only adds to the growing list of impressive projects that showcase her talent and versatility, 
further cementing her status as one of the most beloved and respected actresses of her generation.